Hey friend, it's Jamie. I felt like I needed to come in with an extra session bonus read. Feeling called cool today, so here we are, here it is. I hope you can hear me okay. Um, yeah, I know a few of you need this message right now, so let's jump in, let's see what's going on. Let's see what needs to be revealed here for you, friend. What needs to be revealed to you? This is going to be a specific message. Uh, so let's see. What needs to be revealed to Pisces? Knight of Wands, the Hermit, the Emperor, Strength. Queen of Swords, the Star, Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, let me just fix that up. Two of Pentacles, the World Energy, Seven of Swords. That's good. I like it. Nine of Pentacles. I'm loving this. Okay, straight up. I'm going to tell you what's coming on in because I knew there was a message. And um, all right. <clears throat> I think there's a situation here that intuitively you've been feeling something is a little bit off. I don't know if it's just an energetic thing that you've been noticing in. It could be like action oriented like someone's actions is not matching their words, but it could be energetically is that you're trying to pinpoint something that just doesn't feel right. This hermit energy is kind of you connecting in, pulling away potentially to figure out what that is. It seems to be around a masculine energy or wanting to make something right or a part of you trying to take your power back or control back of a situation that you may have opened up to um, or felt connected to a bit on a, a deeper level. It's interesting though, because you have the strength energy, the queen of swords and the star, which is coming across around you being true to you with this strength energy. Yes, Leo energy. We do have Virgo energy here. We have Aries energy here that's coming in strongly. Aquarius energy. Um, what I feel is happening is there's something here that you know you either need to, there's something that you've got clarity on. Okay, um, I don't know how this clarity has come in, whether it's something that's been communicated now that you've figured out and understood. But whatever this is, this, it could be even a little awakening in some degree here, some truth, some understanding around something. Interesting, this Queen of Swords also has strength energy of it. So this is you stepping into your power going, I know what I, I need to do, what I need to do. I don't know if it's something that you've done yet or you're being asked to do in support of you here, Pisces, okay? Um in addition to that, what I feel is also happening is that with this star energy, whatever you're cutting out right now is actually going to get you closer to where you need to go. It's actually going to open time, space, energetics for the thing that you've been desiring most to come through. This is a related to your Ten of Pentacles, okay? I know how hard it is to make decisions, choices, let go of things that have hurt you or that have, you know, taken a little bit of power over you, Um that your heart's been involved in. It's interesting because there's no emotional energy as in cups here. So I'm taking that that right now you're getting more into a spiritual and log logical approach, which tells me that you're making sense of things. I really like that, okay? Because when you're making sense of things, that's, that's a great thing. Um, I just feel here that you may be a little uh, hesitant to end something or put something to close, but what you're putting to close is no more BS, is no more lies, and is also being true to you. You know the truth of a situation that maybe you don't want to have to acknowledge because then, you know, you may be feeling part shame, part embarrassed, part how did I let this happen, part of how did I get here. And it's more that you're, that you're feeling the, the residue or the, 
the infliction of this, right, which is absolutely understandable. What I like here, though, is this what's coming next is these hopes, these dreams, these aspirations that you're seeking, even though you may not be sure what to do next or how to handle it next or what to focus on next, whatever it is that you choose to do, it's going to close out the cycle of the BS. It's going to close out the cycle of deceiving yourself um, because intuitively it's like you've known things. I think in strength and in power, you're, you're making decisions now that are in alignment to you. This doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, around a love dynamic, but it could be, you know, that you've been wanting to do something and pursue something for a long time, but maybe you've been ignoring your intuition. Maybe you've been ignoring where you're feeling called. This could be too, you know, other people putting their thoughts, their beliefs on you. And it's kind of draining your power of what you want to do because you feel like you have to connect into or conform to certain situations. So yeah, I'm just, I'm getting a sense here that wherever you're going next here, this is a, a big part of, I mean, look at this, what's coming in. Yeah. Okay. I like this. I like this. I could keep going. I could keep going, but You've got the nine of pentacles. This is, you may feel a loss at something, but it's also, this is something that's empowering you. And even in the loss, you're moving away from that. Whatever's happening here is so you can move away from, from the loss, from the, from the, not, not necessarily the pain, but the, it may be pain. Sometimes, you know, we're not necessarily moving away from that directly but what we're doing is removing the opportunity for a situation to keep hurting us or to keep letting us down if that makes sense because I feel like you're moving away from whatever this struggle is or whatever this dynamic is and it's putting you a place back in power a place in a back my goodness can't even get my words out getting back to a place that you get to do you you get to step back into your power you get to refocus on yourself you get to put time and energy into the things that matter for you um and that's when new things open up. It's kind of like changing direction here, okay? Um, and those burdens that you're feeling that may come with it, just allow is kind of what it's saying. It's a time of allowance, a time of you pulling back the reins, um, taking the driver's seat back over uh, and going forth. Yeah, you may not know where you're going. You may not know exactly where it's heading, but intuitively connecting into self is where, where it's at. And I think there's something here that you're feeling called to do. You're feeling asked to do. You're feeling like, I don't know what that is or what it means, but there's just this feeling, right? This weird feeling maybe for some of you. Uh, maybe there's things that you think about often and it's just takes takes over a little bit right it's like to take a chance but this has been a sometime coming this is not new and then you've got the empress energy as well i like it so this has been a long time coming this is not something brain spanking new i feel whatever's come into your life or showed up here pisces um in this season in this chapter that hasn't worked out this is setting you on course to get you to where you need to be but maybe if you didn't have this I don't know if it's a realization, um, this clarity, this little heart bump that you're going through right now. This is getting you closer to where you need to go to cut out this cycle, to cut out this BS that, that maybe you feel like, why does this keep happening to you? This is over. This is cutting. This is, this is going. This is gone. But a key part for you is being honest with the situation at hand, which is sometimes the hardest thing. You know, we all have our blind spots and especially if our heart's involved. But again, it's really interesting. There's no emotional energy showing up here. This is a time of focus, determination, taking your power back, trusting in yourself, who you are as a person, your truth. This to me means that you're, you're actually pretty sound, the queen of swords is quite sound, you know, mentally and emotionally. It's just like you see it for what it is. You could cut the air with a knife, right? That's how clear you are about what's going on. And now it's whatever you're clearing out or whatever you're speaking truth on or being truthful to yourself. It doesn't mean it needs to be truthful to anyone else other than you. That's when you're going to start seeing these hopes and desires that you have. You're going to get closer to that. You're going to bring things back into balance because of that. And you get to cycle out this Thing, whatever this seven of swords represents in your life whether it's self 
um, you know, defeating. I feel you feel a bit defeated here, but you're not Pisces. Ultimately, at the end of the day, this is setting you up for success. This is setting you up for stability, prosperity, for truth. And moving away from where things have been lacking in your life. I want to get you some advice here. Let's get you some advice. What's the advice for Pisces, please? What's the advice for Pisces, please? Whoa. Okay. Okay. King, uh, sorry, Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, the Tower, the Devil. Yeah, I do feel you feel a bit shattered right now. I do feel that you're a bit shattered right now. This seems to be, I still feel this is a bit of past energy. That's something you thought that came in um, that was that was deep, that had meaning, something or someone wanted to build upon. Still that connection or energy um, had you stressed out. There was something about the connection or the energy or the building of that had you a little stressed out, okay? A little bit concerned. Um, it was for good reason. You knew better. Your spirit knew. And a part of spirit knowing has provided you now with a space to know the truth. You may still think about it. You may still be feeling it. But you've got to see what you needed to see. And that's what I wanted to know. What do you need to see? There's something here that you know that you needed to see. Any final messages, please? Yep. The change had to happen for good reason. The change had to happen for good reason. Look at this. Look where you're heading, Pisces. This is you emotionally withdrawing from a situation and again, taking your power back, taking care of you where you need to take care of you, the healing that you need to do. I think I'm just like respectfully, whatever this situation is, I think you've already been through a lot um, or felt what you needed to feel. So I feel like that the healing process, it may shift through a lot quicker than you anticipate. I'm just letting you know. And it's not that you're, it's not being insensitive. It's just that you've already done a lot of the work. You've already been through stuff. I think you know you'll get over it, the initial shock, the initial impact. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like a couple of weeks you're going to be like a little brand new, okay? Um, the Mother Star energy is the yes card. This is to me that something is opening up. You've also got the plans. You've got the resources that you need and you've got the power to move something forward here. So whatever you want to focus on right now that is about you, not about anyone else, it can be about other people, serving other people, being on mission, being on purpose, but not about another potential connection. Naturally, what's going to happen is when you focus on you and your purpose and your power, that's when this new pathway is going to open in connection, in union, in something that's going to just light you up and feel really good about with this four of wands. Yep. It could be another, like a potential relationship. It could be like a new journey that you're going on. It could be a partnership of some kind in your career, whatever it is, there's something new that's birthing. But again, it's like you needed this little catalyst um, and a little cycle. You had to it sucks, but a little cycle, a little karmic energy that had to clear out. And this is like, I feel the ending for you um, when it comes to that. It's kind of like, uh, I just feel like like clean slate. That's how it feels, a clean slate here, okay? I'm going to leave that with you, Pisces. I hope that's been supportive. Sending you a bunch of love, um, as always. Appreciate you being here and wishing you the best for today. Big hugs. Bye.